welcome back to Buzzing Threads. Let's pick up where we left off. I was in the middle of thread painting this fox in my last video. So I'm gonna now show you what happened next. In fact, it took me a while to get going again on this piece. I wasn't sure I was really happy with how it was looking. So I struggled with motivation, but eventually I picked it up and continued sewing. And in this footage, you can see how I worked along, work, gradually working down the nose. I went up around the eye area, across the forehead. I did a bit of work on the ears and then I dropped down and do, did the neck and underneath the neck. And that was my order of working. Mostly I worked completion in one area before then moving on to the next once I was happy with it. I used quite a lot of different colours of thread and that was really important to make it look natural because a colour is not made up of one solid colour, it's going to be made up of lots of different colours within that colour. Um, I also tried to get rid of the hard lines. There's not a lot of kind of hard lines in nature. Most of them are soft lines. So you need to soften sort of the transitions between the different colours. Although it's speeded up in this footage, it actually took quite a lot of time. I tended to work on it in kind of 30 minute hour or hour periods, gradually kind of chipping away at the picture. Once I got happy with how it was looking, I found it easier to get motivated and get on the machine. This is probably the most detail I've gone into with my thread painting before. And in the end, there's not much fabric showing through underneath. This is different to how I've worked before and I'm happy with how it's turned out because that was my intention going into it. So here we are, here's the finished piece. And my next steps are to do the other bits of the picture. There are a couple of other elements that I need to make before I can start putting it all together. And I'll go into those on future videos. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.